This is the Sumira 7. It's a small adding machine that also does direct subtraction. It has seven digits in the register and seven columns for input. To add a number you simply put your finger onto the digit you want to add and then pull it all the way down. When you've entered a number, you can read off what you've entered at the bottom here, in this uh, lowest row. And uh, you can clear this input by pressing this bar at the bottom. And then enter another number. The register carries automatically. To clear the register, there's a small crank on the right hand side. It, uh, yeah, you have to move it clockwise, but pull out the handle to clear this stopping pin. So you move it around until it hits the pin. Unfortunately, uh, once it's slightly misaligned, it doesn't really work very well. There we go. I think it might need a little bit of lubrication in there. The, uh, the input can be, uh, the, this clearing bar can be uh, locked down with this knob on the right. And then you can do uh, repeated additions more quickly. You, so you don't have to clear this every time. And that allows you to do small multiplications by just repeatedly adding a number several times. So I've now done uh, 4 times uh, 54. To subtract, you move this lever up. You have to push it to the left to move, make that movement and what that does is it tilts the register backwards and connects it to the rest of the mechanism through some intermediate gears and this means that when you enter a number the number wheels turn in the opposite direction. Unfortunately you can't see it in this, this position Uh, and when you subtract, it does cause the uh, clearing crank to move around. But that's okay. It's, uh, it has shifted backwards with the whole register when it moved. And it now can clear this stopping pin. So that's, that's fine. It can move backwards if it needs to. And yeah, when you then put it back onto addition mode, you can see, well, actually I've subtracted too much, it's underflowed. But uh, yeah, then you can see the results of your subtractions. The Samira was made in West Germany. It says so right here. Samira was a company based in, uh, in a small village just outside Bonn. There's a serial number right here. This machine looks very similar to the Resulter and it's quite probable that some engineers that designed the Resulter uh, joined Samira and uh, made this machine, designed this machine. A simplified version of the Samira called the Countess was made especially for the British market for uh, British currencies and I've shown that machine in another video as well. So this was the Samira 7. Thank you for watching.